How to unclog a kitchen sink less than a dollar? What are the ingredients you need? Uh, you know, if you are interested in these things, uh, please stay uh, till the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Save Like a Pro with Leah. If you are interested in minimalism, money saving and different investing ideas, you are at the right place. If you are one of my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Uh, hopefully together we will be able to learn some new money saving ideas. If you are one of my faithful subscribers, I thank you so much for continuous support and we can grow together as a community. Today I am coming with a, a DIY tip, do it yourself tip, how to unclog a kitchen sink less than a dollar. Yeah. Kitchen sink clogging is an ongoing issue in most of the household. So uh, I want to show you guys how we can do it more, uh, you know, uh, in a cost effective, also uh, more, more natural way. Uh, it's very uh, easy, anyone can do it. Uh, I've been doing this for years. Uh, it, has, it has been uh, more than 10 years since I called a plumber to my home because plumbers are very expensive. By the time they uh, they leave uh, leave the business, they start to charge. They charge you like uh, 150 dollar to 200 dollar per hour. Uh, in order to avoid that, I'm giving you this uh, DIY tip. Everyone should everyone should try it, and let me know how you like it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, this is my clock kitchen sink. I uh, try to the, do the same method at least once a month so it doesn't clog up that bad and I don't have to uh, call the plumbers that often. Uh, it has been over uh, 10 years since I called the plumbers uh, because it cost you arm and leg. So I thought if, since I make this video it's going to help everyone out and you, you know you don't need to be ten, you don't need to be highly technical, uh, savvy or anything, anyone can do it. Uh, so if you stay till the end, I will give you the bonus tip. In order to unclog the sink, all you need are uh, these three ingredients, which, uh, you know, which is white vinegar. Uh, you can buy it from a grocery store when it's on sale, like 99 cents. Pack up on this when I cook. Uh, in order to clean the meat and the fish, I use the vinegar. Uh, it's pretty good. I have uh, normally I uh, buy it for like 99 cents when it's on sale. Then the second ingredient uh, you need it is a baking soda. Normally I buy uh, baking soda from Aldi. It's like 49 cents per package. Uh, the last ingredient you need is a one uh, kettle full of boiled water. If you don't have a, a kettle at home, you can use a regular, um, you know, pot. Make sure that you boil it and be careful uh, so you don't spill on yourself. Uh, kettle from Aldi, like six ninety nine. I got it many years ago. Uh, so you, you had to fill up with the water. Make sure that you boil the water. Um, you know, it's not going to hurt your uh, PVC pipe. PVC pipe can take up to uh, 500 degree Fahrenheit temperature. Boiling water is like uh, 300 something. So th this is uh, perfectly safe for the uh, your PVC pipe. Uh, it's not going to melt down your pipe. Uh, make sure that you have a, um, you know, one kettle full of boiled water. using a plunger to plunge the sink and finally I was able to uh, you know get rid of the you know standing water uh, I'm gonna pour this baking soda to the drain you know pour a generous amount you know I put the baking soda I kind of I kind of took the strainer out it's better to uh, put the strainer out so it doesn't stick on the strainer now I'm going to pour some of white uh, distilled vinegar into the drain so you so you will see it's going to get really foamy don't worry about it it's not going to hurt you see just pour it generously it's going to uh, help you real good see look how uh, fast it went down uh, now I'm going to pour the boil kettle water into the drain so it will help to dissolve any food items um, or grease and everything else i'm putting the whole thing there it's 
not gonna uh, hit the pipe. Make sure that it's the it's boiled one, uh, so it has to soften the grease and everything else. So so your uh, kitchen sink doesn't get uh, clogged uh, clogged all the time. This is very cost effective. It cost me less than a dollar. Uh, baking soda cost me like 49 cents, but uh, I use uh, le, le, you know one quarter of it. The vinegar cost me like 99 cents. I use only one cup of vinegar. Uh, I buy it in a bulk. Uh, my vinegar is like uh, um, one gallon vinegar. I use only one cup of that. So the total cost is less than a dollar. If I call a plumber, uh, which will be like 150 to 200 dollar per um, trip, and uh, if anything else they need additional, uh, they will charge you that too. But I will encourage everyone to uh, you uh, do the same method at least uh, once a month, so it won't get uh, um, really bad. And uh, 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 this is the disposal uh, part of the sink. Um, now it's time for my bonus tip. This is my disposal part of the sink. If anything like a knife or a spoon or anything fall on this, it's gonna get stuck. If, it, if it's gonna get stuck, it's not gonna drain. It's not gonna be good. So in order to prevent that, I use this strainer. Uh, this really helps to strain everything and I cover the hole with that. So nothing will go down and uh, it, won't co it won't cause any uh, clog up or any blockage due to that. This uh, strainer really ha helps. I bought this from eBay. Uh, you can buy it eBay or Amazon. I bought this from China like two for four dollar. It's, uh, it's really, it, it has really small hole and strain it well. Um, in fact, I don't use the disposal a lot. Um, it's gonna clog up more if you put uh, you know food and you know other particle down there it so what I do is uh, um, I um, you know I use the strainer I can do whatever the strainer catch it I dump into the garbage um, you know so nothing is going down um, I don't put any oil in the drain um, if you put a oil in the drain it's gonna clog up because like heart attack over time it's gonna clog up the artery uh, over time it's gonna clog up the pipe so I catch everything in this strainer. This is pretty good, you, as you can see. It's like a, almost like a mesh strainer. Then I uh, dump everything into the garbage. Please try it um, and let me know how you like it. If you think that this video is helpful, uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, comment, share and like it. And also if someone need help, please don't hesitate to share this video. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.